Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the Project Media Effects Bay Part 2 in Reaper. Now, in the previous video, we went over the source media and the media items. In this video, we're going to focus on the Effects tab. So, in the Effects tab, we can see all the effects that we're using in this project. For example, these two effects right here we're using on the master fader. And these effects are being used four different times on different tracks. And we can see the instances by right clicking right here. Our rear comp is used on the kick, which we could adjust right from here. Or rear EQ is used on the synth loop, which we could adjust from here. Now you're probably wondering, why would you want to adjust our plugins from the project bay? We could do it right from here. But maybe you're dealing with a very large project, and instead of searching for the track you want to adjust, you can just choose it based on the effect. If you know you want to readjust your gate, just go into the project bay, find the rear gate, right click, and find the instance you want to adjust right from here. Now we could also bypass our effects from this window. Let's say for example, we wanted to turn off all the compressors in this project using rear comp, just right click and go right here and bypass all of them right from here. Now all of them are bypassed, which we can see on each track's effects. See it's bypassed, each time it's used. And we could unbypass the same way, right here. And that turns off the bypass in the entire project for this plugin. And we could also take our effects offline if we want. Let's say we want to do it with 3 EQ, just right click and take this one offline, which will turn off the CPU processing for that plugin which is a great way of troubleshooting if there's something wrong with a plugin. We could put that effect completely offline and see if it fixes our problem. And again, we could see it on each track right here. This plugin is offline every time it's used. And we could see that right here, offline. We could put it back right here. And now it's active again. And we could change the effects presets from here as well. Maybe we want to change the preset on a compressor. Just right click. And we could adjust the preset on each individual track it's used on or all instances if we want. Right now we're using start, but we could change it to New York drum bus, and it changes it for each instance of that plugin. And we can change it back just by right clicking, put it back to start on each instance of that plugin. Now, once again, we could also retain these plugins if they're deleted from the project. You could see I already retained one over here, but we could do it to all of them. Just select them. Right click and choose to retain them if they're removed from the project. And we can remove them right from here or individually on each track. Hold on the PC, option on the Mac, and turn off the track effects on each track. And now we can see they're still available, but they're not active. But if we want to use them again, just select them, select the track. And then right click it and choose insert into project. And that inserts all of them on the track. Or we can drag and drop them instead, right from here. Drag and drop it to this track, which puts them all on here. Or this one. 
or this one. And they're all back on the track effects of those tracks. Now we could also replace our effects all at the same time. Let's say we want to try out a different compressor than the rear comp. Notice I save one up here, Major Tom, which is retained and available, but not active in the project. Let's say we want to use this one instead of the rear comp. Just right click, replace in project. We could choose which instance or all of them and go to the retained effects and choose the major tom compressor. And that replaces the rear comp in each track it was on. Now we have the major tom compressor. On each track, the rear comp was on. Or we could switch it back by choosing this one, replace in project, all instances, go back to retained, because the rear comp is still retained in this project, and switch it back just like that on each track in our project. And just like with the source media and the media items, in the effects tab, we can also use folders. Let's say we want to put these three effects in a folder. Just right click, create new folder, name it track effects. Now we have a folder for all the effects we selected. And we can close it or open it back up to keep it organized or delete the folder and keep the items. So that's the effects tab. Next we have the effects parameters, which is similar to the effects tab, except in this section, there's a different line for every plugin in our project based on the track. So there's a recomp for our kick, another one for the snare. And over here, we can rename the effects instance by just right clicking. And we can rename it maybe kick compressor. And for the snare, snare compressor, which will make it easier to see what it's doing. If we open it up right here, we can see it's called kick compressor or snare compressor. Just makes it a bit easier to see what each effect is doing. But if we click the button right next to each one, it opens up the parameters for that plugin or that instance of the plugin. So we can see our attack, bypass, dry, high pass, knee, all for this compressor. And with each parameter, we could right click and turn on the track controls, activate or show our track envelope, parameter modulation, learn, and create an alias parameter, which is the same thing we can already do if we open up that plugin and click over here in the parameter menu, right over here. But sometimes it's a bit easier to find in here. Just choose our synth loop, choose the parameter we want to adjust, and right click to add those features to that parameter. And if we do add the features in here, they're going to show up over here in the columns and be renamed over here, which can be really helpful for quickly seeing which parameters have an envelope, modulation, or learn key assigned to them. And we can open and close them right from here. So that's the effects parameters. So in the next video, we'll go through the final three tabs in the project media effects bay. So that's part two of the Project Media Effects Bay in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.